Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up two Bitcoin trading bots. One will be on Qcoin and their free grid bot. And the second grid bot will be on the Bitscap platform. However, I will be using the Qcoin exchange for that bot in order to try to keep everything similar because after 30 days, I'm going to compare the results from the two different bots and figure out which one actually won the battle. So with that being said, now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that update video or any future videos for that matter. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to it. Now, the first bot that I'm going to configure will be over here on Bitscap and under the bots tab, I need to go to the start new bot button, give that a click and the type bot I will deploy will be their S bot, which actually works best in a sideways market and a slightly trending up. And right now Bitcoin is kind of moving sideways. However, I do expect it to slightly trend up. So this should be the perfect bot for Bitcoin's current price action. So I give S bot a click. And now I have all the configuration parameters over here on the right hand side of the screen. The first thing I need to do is select my exchange. And in this case, it will be Qcoin. But as you can see, I do have a variety of exchanges I can choose from. And that would be one advantage to Bitscap is you're not just stuck trading the coins on one particular exchange. You can actually deploy multiple bots on a variety of exchanges. And also you don't have to keep all your money on one exchange. And so that would be an advantage that Bitscap has over Qcoin. Obviously Qcoin, you're just trading on the Qcoin exchange. But for today's configuration, I'm going to stick with Qcoin. Again, trying to make everything similar on both bots. Now the pair I'm going to be trading on both bots is going to be BTC USDT. And so I just need to do a quick search for BTC USDT. Give that a click. And it loads the BTC USDT chart with some grid lines. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually performs, these grid lines, the red and green lines you see on the chart, are basically open limit orders. The green lines are open limit buy orders. The red lines are open limit sell orders. And so the objective of a grid bot is when the price goes down and hits these green open limit orders, it executes a buy and buys the dip. And then on the flip side, when the price goes up and takes out the open limit sell orders, it then sells for a profit. And so a grid bot will capture profit by buying low and selling high. So moving on, the next thing I need to do is give this bot some ammo. And in this case, I'm going to give the bot 1000 USDT. Now I need to configure the lower price and the upper price limits for this grid. And so if I squeeze this down a little, you can see the high price or the upper limit and the lower price or the lower limit of the current grid. Now I typically set my upper and my lower price limits based on support and resistance. And so I will drag the lower price down here to where we see some support. And I can drag the high price down into where I see previous resistance, or I can just come over here and type in the high price. And in this particular case, Bitcoin just hit an all time high recently of 67,000. So I'm going to set my high price at 68,000. Now, if we zoom out to the four hour chart, you can kind of see the price action that I'm looking at support for the lower limit and Resistance would be here at the all time high and I went ahead and gave it some room to maneuver and actually I think I will set the lower price limit to around 58,000 for starters and that should give this price action plenty of room to maneuver. However, with that being said, Bitscap also offers trailing up and a trailing down feature which would allow the bot to actually follow the price action up if the price action exceeded the upper limit and on the flip side it would follow the price action down and continue to buy at a lower price if the price action breached below the lower limit. And it's important to note for the bot to be able to continue to buy on the way down you do need to have 
extra funds available in the form of your quote currency and in this case my quote currency is usdt so i would need to have additional usdt held in my exchange account if the price action went below the lower limit and i have the trailing down enabled now i will actually activate both of those features and I can set a stop trailing down, which would kind of limit how low the bot would continue to buy. In this case, I'm going to set that at, say, 40000 I am more than willing to buy Bitcoin at a lower price. I have no problem buying Bitcoin at a lower price. I can always hold it for the long term. So with that all being said, I will tell you Qcoin does not have trailing up or trailing down features. So now I need to configure the grid step and the grid levels, how many actual grids I want there to be in this grid zone. And the grid step is basically the spacing between each one of these grids. And typically that's the amount of profit you can expect each time one of the grids is taken out. And I have found somewhere between half a percent to one percent generates the best profit with my objective. And my objective is somewhere between half a percent profit per day when I'm trading Bitcoin and ETH. And then the rest of your altcoins, I typically shoot for a one percent profit per day. And so in this case, I'm going to have my grid step set at 0.07 percent. And that gives me a total of 23 grids. And you can now see there is a gap between each one of these grids. Now I have pretty much all my settings in place. If I scroll down, I then have the option of a take profit and a stop loss. Now, normally if I'm trading altcoins, I will set up a stop loss. But on Bitcoin, again, I'm willing to buy all the way down. I don't want the bot to stop me out. So I won't set up either the take profit or the stop loss. I will for this particular bot and the Qcoin bot that we deploy, I will manage that manually myself. So now I can click on back test. And this will give me a general idea on how this bot would perform with these particular settings had I deployed it in the past. And it's important to understand past performance does not guarantee future results. So I don't really put a whole lot of weight into these results. But this backtest feature again is something not available over on Qcoin. So as far as configuration goes... Bitscap definitely will end up winning out, but again, there will be a cost involved with Bitscap. And with that being said, we should jump over here to the Bitscap pricing plans. And it's important to note, if you want that trailing up and trailing down feature, you actually need to go with their advanced plan for $57 a month. Now they do offer a seven day free trial, and I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you'll actually get their pro plan for free for that seven day trial. After that trial expires though, if you want the trailing up and trailing down feature, then you'll need to step up to the $57 advanced plan. The basic plan will not get you that. Now jumping back over here to the back test, something else I can change is I know my fees on Qcoin are gonna be 0 0.08. And so in reality, these results would not be winning the battle in my opinion. So let's see what happens if I adjust the grids. All right, so I've adjusted the grids to 60,000 for my lower limit, which is kind of support in this range. And the fact I have trailing down enabled, I'll still be in the fight if the price goes down below this lower price. And I made the upper limit price 66,000 down to just below Bitcoin's recent all time high. And again, I'll still be in the fight if the price goes up above this limit because I have the trailing up feature enabled. So now let's give the back test a click and see if we improved our results. And we did, and we got a lot closer to that half a percent profit per day. And so for the moment, I think I'll stick with the upper and lower limits that I have set. And so now I could click on preview. And now I have all the parameters for this particular configuration. I would now be ready to hit confirm. However, before I deploy this bot, I do want to configure the Qcoin bot and try to get it as similar as I can to this bot so that the battlefield is level before I deploy the bot. So let's jump over to Qcoin. And from my Qcoin account, I just come over to where you see trading bot trade. And I can come down here to where it says trading bot new. Give that a click. And I'm going to deploy the spot grid bot. So I just click on create bot. And from here, I actually have two choices. They do an AI parameters. However, we are going to customize it because we want to try to get these two bots as similar as possible. 
And so the first step is the price range, again, for the grid, the low and the high, just like with Bitscap. And we have our low at 60 and our high at 66. So we'll put those two numbers in here. And you'll notice when you're setting this particular bot up, you don't actually have a chart that you could actually go off of support or resistance. You would have to jump over to perhaps TradingView to take a look at support and resistance levels and where that price action would actually lie for this actual price range. Now, number of orders placed, I believe we have 14 over on Bitscap. Levels is 14. Now, with the total number of placed orders or grids, remember they're open limit orders, my profit per grid after the Qcoin 0.08% fee would only be about half a percent per grid. And so that is going to be a little less than the Bitscap. And so you can see the number of grids I could actually have would be somewhere between 2 and 22, given this grid spacing. And so I'm going to stick with the 14 grids, and this may cause that bot to underperform. Also, as I mentioned earlier, when we were configuring the Bitscap bot, there is no trailing up or down. If the price gets out of range, your bot is no longer in the fight, and will have to wait until the price gets back in range before it starts trading again. But with that being said, the Qcoin bot is free, so you're kind of getting what you paid for. You're not getting all the bells and whistles but it's free versus the 50 some dollars a month in order to get all those features with Bitscap. So at the end of the day, you kind of get what you pay for. So now that we have the parameters configured, we need to give the bot some ammo and we're gonna do the same amount. It's gonna be 1000 USDT. And I do wanna note that I'm deploying this bot on a different Qcoin account than the account being used for Bitscap. I have two separate different accounts to deploy these bots on and that should make it easier for me to reconcile the profit that is being reported by both of these platforms. It won't be mixed up and it will be much easier for me to reconcile. And so now I'm ready to click the create button and I get an order confirmation again just basically showing the actual parameters for this particular bot and it's also important to note that you will need the funds in your trading account on Qcoin and not in your main account so these funds are in my trading accounts and so I am ready to deploy the bot and it tells you down here that it will need to buy some BTC obviously in order to fulfill any of the sell orders on the way up I click confirm and that bot's been deployed and now it is up and live. So now I need to jump over here back to Bitscap, click confirm. And it lets me know as well that it's going to need to buy some Bitcoin in order to fulfill those sell orders on the way up. So yes, go ahead and buy Bitcoin. And so it placed the market order for Bitcoin. The order has been filled. The bot is starting up. And you start to see the grid come into place and the bot is now live as well as you can see down here i now have this bot live so that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of battle of the grid bots qcoin versus bitscap now you do want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss the second installment of this video where i will break down the actual performance of both of these bots also, while you're shooting that subscribe button, if you could go ahead and spike a like, I would appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap and Qcoin in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.